Anything that happened. This must be this. Oh shit. That's me. He took that shot last night. Finally, I'm free. Almost. looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! My shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. Ah, much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. 
or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Blah, blah, 
blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more, anyway. Rachel is dead, but no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Sorry. Oh, I have this, all those photos in my diary. This, this could be a way out. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Uh. 
I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh, <laughs> well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well. Uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artist. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, the other one is turning into photos. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be... For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. Not for everybody. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. It's the past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. 
And Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. I did everything right this time. Good work, David. to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Excuse me, sir. Your phone has to be shut. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Please shut I have to admit, I love being called an artist. beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. How the hell am I supposed to figure that out? Fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? 
hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Press Prescott's, things have been in hectic to say the least. That's a smart, smart way of telling us to stop one. We are, we are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I, I know I'm not exactly the guy I'd want in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and what are you doing there? Christ! Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. 